Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tito Ele again. I would like to share. I would like to share my story in Canada. When I when I came into Canada, um, my story How about um, what I actually my uh, my few months in Canada. When I first came to Canada, my few months in Canada was not was not great because my expectations were so high. I was coming, I was, I came into Canada as a fresh graduate. I just, in those days, I just graduated, um, I just had my degree, in fact, I just had, I just finished my degree and um, I was, I was actually happy, excited that when I, when I get to Canada, there will be a job for me in my field. Because when I went to the embassy, in those days, it was, uh, they were at, um, we had to go to Ghana, uh, Canadian embassy in Ghana to talk to them before we collect. I mean, that was, I went to Canadian embassy Ghana. That was where I collected my own, um, my own, um, visa. But, uh, when I got there, I was interviewed. I told the interviewer that, uh, um, my, my, uh, my, um, I was, I mean, I mean, I did marketing and um, I was open to also work as a marketer in Canada. Um, she said, okay, no problem. There's a lot of, there's a lot of marketing job in Canada. So this is a, you are, the, you are actually a type of person that Canada wants because you are a professional. And my husband, uh, my husband happened to be uh, in his own field too. So both of our fields, uh, they said no problem you will be able to do uh, to work this is the kind of people professionals that we need in Canada but uh, unfortunately what happened boom I was in Canada my first day my second day my third day I was just looking for job I was looking for job it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a great story I had to I, I in those days then i was able to work with uh, i work with um, some companies i work with uh, ibm computers i work with ibm computers as an administrator i work with um, toronto star as a telemarketer i could remember in those days toronto star as a telemarketer and uh, we were doing um they call it um telemarketing you have to call people on the phone you have to call you have to call people on the phone and talk to them regarding the company's um, products so uh, I it, it wasn't a sweet it wasn't a it wasn't a palatable thing for me and all those jobs I was doing they were actually like a it wasn't what I actually wanted to do because I according to my own plan according to what i expected to see here it wasn't what i found out so everything went down the drain but uh, at the same time but i had already made up my mind that um i wasn't going to go back to nigeria i wasn't going to go back to nigeria because my mom was like you um coming to nigeria coming back to nigeria was not actually uh it's, it's not going to be an option it wasn't going to be a, an option so we made up our mind that we were going to be successful but in being to 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 be candid after uh experiencing all this um uh, all these things there are so many things that we uh, we experienced we experienced uh, my my particularly working as a tele telemarketer i was told that oh you have an accent that means we cannot understand what you're saying very well but at the same time as a canadian I told them that, um, yes, you should not even tell me that I have an accent. Why are you telling me that I have an accent? Everybody does have an accent. But uh, I was able to retrain myself. I was able to go back to school. I retrained myself. But it wasn't, it wasn't like in few months that I got here that I was able to retrain myself. I actually worked a little bit. Then I went back to school. I actually, I got, I got my degree. I got my degree and how i started working but along the way i was like oh my god when i was doing my job after i left toronto star i was able to do job in uh, social services 
and community community services i was able to work but i was initially i wept i was actually like what brought me to canada because in nigeria we were we were, we were we were living above average at least we were comfortable but i was like what actually brought me to canada i wept and wept several times so this is just a short experience of mine if you're really determined i think but at, at the same time i'm talking about two two decades ago things have changed now not it's not as bad as the way we came in but uh, at the same time don't expect bread on your butter when you come to canada now don't expect bread on butter you're going to face some challenges some difficulties in looking for job you will you, you actually will be able to do some jobs that are not in your field you will be these are things that you'll be expecting to do don't have an expectation of coming to do exactly what you're doing we're doing in nigeria you might be lucky you might but at the same time have an open mind have an open mind so that you'll be able to um to be able to ex you can explore and um, when you're exploring you with with your oh. experience bringing your experience your ex the experiences you have in different fields bring it here but at the same time with confidence you will so you will succeed just have it at the back of your mind that as you're coming in you will succeed and definitely because people before you like us we, we were able to stay in we, we, we were able to i mean thank god we're here we're still here we're, we're still here we're growing in whatever we're doing and uh, we're enjoying the blessings of god we're succeeding it's good it's beautiful there are so many things that you could do when you come in here you could come in here because of your children because of yourself because of you want to be an international person you don't you don't want to stay mediocre so you have a happy life you know have a happy life this is just a short uh, my short experience three my this is my three my first three months in canada it wasn't uh it wasn't a bread on the border i wept several times that what the heck why was i in canada but later on i discovered my passion i discovered my uh my uh i actually discovered what i wanted to do and now i went for it and i'm happy as time goes on i will be sharing Day, I will be sharing things that I've done that has helped me so that I will be able to advise people that are coming in as a new start, as a new in, in, immigrant. It, it, might, it might be of, of help to some of you. Thanks for listening. My name again is Titi Oyeleye. Have a wonderful evening.